Teacher preparation is really going through some massive changes. One of the biggest changes is that no longer will you see teachers being prepared at universities, only in university classrooms, through lecture and demonstration and discussion. Instead, you're going to see many more partnerships being formed between colleagues in the schools, in the K-12 schools, and universities, in an attempt to partner together to provide the best possible ways to prepare new teachers. We certainly focus in on the university coursework in our classroom at Sojourner Truth for the several hours that we need to. And then we walk down the hallway or up the stairs, uh, work with our first graders and fourth graders, um, our reading buddies as we call them. And then we come back downstairs and we have immediate reflection on what's happened, um, what we're going to do to improve the next time we work with the children. When working with Siashin, I've learned that the reading limit of students varies depending on their um, and how much exposure they have to reading materials. And with Siashe, she's a very good reader. So with her, um, with her reading skills, um, compared to any other student, um, she's she's excelling at the level that um, that she is supposed to be at. She makes the reading fun, and she makes it that we can do. She makes time in it so that we can do activities and we can read at the same time. Our uh, research results by teaching this class on site have really shown that the pre-service teachers become a part of the school and their own feelings about themselves, their self-efficacy, their belief that they can be a good teacher and that they're part of this community uh, ratchets up tremendously. Um, we've been able to find that they, they really feel like they're professionals. They kind of leave behind their university student status and become teachers and see themselves as teachers. I would like to be a teacher when I grow up. Having the class on site too, we, get, we sort of learn these concepts and then we get to see examples of them with our students and we can kind of take that back to class and discuss um, in a group. It's really, it's putting like text to life if you know, you're learning how to approach um, maybe a struggling reader and you do, you work with your struggling reader like in person, you know, not everything's gonna like come out perfectly. So you can kind of take that back and um, the professor talks to you and you kind of like can work out different, um, different ways to go about it, um, new ideas, you can bounce ideas off of other students. Well, I want you to put them all into groups now. What kind of different groups could we put them together? The biggest benefit is that there's um, a great sense of community and relationship building between the pre-service teacher and the student. When, when we have to leave at the end of the semester, both our pre-service teachers and the young people are sad. They have come to develop friendships, uh, professional relationships, teacher and student, and great respect for each other, what they've learned from each other through the experience. I'm going to miss her, her laugh. Her laugh is contagious. It makes me laugh a lot. Every time she laughs, it makes me laugh. And I'm going to miss her and her activities. I wish she was there for the summer so, I could, so she could be there with me when I, act, when I do activities in the summer. It also benefits the teachers, I think, because they see the newest ways uh, of teaching reading being um, you know, modeled by our pre-service teachers. And they also are afforded the opportunity, and I am too as a professor, of interacting with the teachers to find out, you know, what are the challenges in teaching children today? And what might I offer from the research that would be a benefit to the teachers here? I feel like our partnership addresses the achievement gap. Um, as our students have positive literacy experiences, which allows them to, to engage in more meaningful learning and close up that, that gap specifically in reading, but in other disciplines as well, because reading is so critical in, in everything we do. Our university pre-service teachers can serve as great role models for these children at Sojourner Truth Academy. Uh, first and foremost, I think they can show the Sojourner Truth kids what our University of Minnesota students like. Um, they, can, they can interact with them and help them understand that with hard work and attending to school and hanging in there, 
that they can set the goal for themselves that they too could be a student at the University of Minnesota or another excellent institution. Yeah.